Today we are here to... To do the superlatives. I don't know, I, it, we don't have that in England. I don't know what it is. Hey everybody, my name's Colin Ford from Daybreak on Netflix. Um, I'm Sophie Simna, I play Sam on Daybreak on Netflix. We are playing a superlative game. We've got our faces on lollipop sticks and we're gonna tell you who's more likely to be the answer to the question. <laughs> we don't, I, I don't know what it, this is. We don't have them in England, but I didn't, so I didn't, I didn't. Like in, I didn't get any superlatives, but I was, I went to regular school until like the 10th grade. And then I went to a smaller, like online program through a larger high school in my local area. And, uh, and I was the valedictorian, or sorry, the salutatorian, not the valedictorian of my class there. Uh, that was but close. The, I know, it was you close. See, that. I almost took the title. This guy. Um, There's only like 35 kids, so it wasn't like I was, you know, beating anybody out. But you were number two. I was number two, yeah. you know. <laughs> Before we get started. Don't forget to subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel. I feel like I would. I was gonna say me. Okay. But I was like, cause I'm such a romantic, I feel like I, well, I think, I don't think I'd do very well at it, but I, I'd have the intention. I agree, I don't think I would do particularly well at it either, but I would also have the intention, and, and it may <laughs> come from more of a selfish place of me not wanting to be alone. Oh, um, I just love love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Colin, just to get the shoes, because... That's exactly right. I second that. Yeah. Okay. Colin has more shoes than I've ever known a person to have shoes. Like, he could probably have a house full of shoes and be able to tell you, like, the history behind each shoe. And it's, it's, it's you know, that could be your speciality on, like, a game show. Oh, that would be a good game show. <laughs> Which shoe one. is it anyway? I mean, yeah. <laughs> These two options. I feel like you're gonna be a little loner. I feel like it, I might be the loner. Yeah, I think you would. You'd be like, I don't need anybody else. I'm a romantic loner, so. <laughs> Which makes no sense at all, but. I like it. <laughs> we'll roll with it. <gasps> not me. I, I, well, I'm not very good on my phone, so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe me, because I'd send it to the wrong person, <laughs> because I wouldn't know what I was doing. You'd be meaning to send it yeah. to the, your current, to, to your my current, car. and yeah. then you'd send to your ex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. I'm not great with blood. Well, and it's also like, it's a, it's a ghoulie, but it still was a person. Yeah. Why wouldn't you be able to do it? I would get so scared so fast, so I would just you. kill maybe it. No, but I would, I would literally kill it. Like, <laughs> I think I could I'd do be it. like, you good? I, I think you could do. I don't think either of us would be very well equipped to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> to ghost? What does that mean? To not take somebody back, I think. Oh. I don't know. Maybe me? Maybe, is that like, yeah. you mean, is, is that like a... I feel like you just forget. I feel like you'd ghost somebody on accident. I'm not very good on my accident. phone. Yeah, I'm not very good on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you could break through the I ghouliness. I feel like I could psychoanalyze yeah, the ghoulie. I, I would definitely be left saying the last stupid thing that I've It'd be was about thinking. <laughs> yeah. 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 It'd be really about you. I wonder if I should have won the other ones today. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I think that you give good advice I think, overall. Because I'm the rom the romantic loner. Yeah. So. First I thought I had you backwards, yeah. then I realized. I'm on both sides. You're on both sides. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a mean question. I know. I'm gonna leave them both down. I don't think either of us would be good bullies. Like if on a, if you know, you, there's a measurement of how good a bully yeah. can be, I think we would I know. both suck. So neither. I was uh, I was in trouble a lot in school, but I, I was also. Oh no! But I was also like. I can kind of see. I don't know. I feel like I love school. I liked it as well, but I I was a troublemaker. Crazy kid, but so I was I when I was younger, and then I like turned a new leaf. You know. Yeah, I always was, was always in the principal's office, but uh, but that meant that I was hanging with the principal. So. Oh, okay. So you were teacher's pet. I was teacher's pet. There you go. <laughs> Ooh. 
I'm gonna bet on myself. You've, you know, you, you, from being Josh, you've had a bit of training. A little so. bit of experience. Yeah, I mean, but you're in the group. See, I'm going solo, apparently. Look, Costco. Costco, Ikea. Yes. Obviously you go to Ikea. But they don't have food at Ikea. Yes, they have meatballs at Ikea. They have meatballs at Ikea? Is that an English thing? Yeah. No, you need to go to Ikea more. <laughs> It's like, it's like £3.50 for a whole meal. It's amazing. I will try this. Does any spaghetti come with the meatballs? You can get like everything. Oh wow, okay. <sighs> well, we learned a lot about each other from yes. our superlatives. Yes, I learned what a superlative is, so. There we go. Every day's a school day. You can catch us now on Daybreak streaming on Netflix. For more videos like this, subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel.